A two-year-old boy is recovering right now after a three-story tumble from a window. And questions remain over why window bars weren't in place to prevent such a dangerous fall from happening. CBS 2's Dick Brennan is live now on the Lower East Side with more on this story for us, Dick. Well, Christine, this is one lucky two-year-old. His name is Javen Cruz. He's in stable condition right now at Bellevue. He does have a fractured skull, but it appears he's going to be okay. And that's all because of where he landed. The two-year-old boy seen here in an ambulance with his hair taped back from his face minutes after falling from a third-story window. From behind his apartment door, the boy's father told us about his condition. How is he doing? Is he okay? He's fine. He's fine? Yes. He's going to be okay? How are you doing? I'm okay. It happened at 1.30 this morning. Sources telling us the child spilled potato chips on the floor at the apartment at 177 Christie Street. The mother turned her back on the boy to clean up the mess. It was then he went out the window. It said, boom. I looked, I thought it sounded like a car accident. Earl Boyd saw the boys plunge and feared the worst. Then I realized some of the baby's crying. That means the baby's alive. And then I, I was better. I felt better. Incredibly, the boy landed in just the right place on this metal shed for garbage cans. The material is flexible and broke his fall. The victim's grandmother was in the apartment at the time. Going to sleep. Well, I open my eye. Everybody's running and screaming. What happened? But the big question, why was there no guard in the window? Lando is supposed to put that, that thing in the window where the, the baby or nobody failed, you know? So he not put it. City housing officials say it's a shared responsibility for owners and tenants. Tenants are required to let landlords know if there's a child in the apartment under 10 years of age. If there is, guards must be installed. Now, city officials tell us that there were no complaints filed against this building for missing window guards, and there are no outstanding violations. In the meantime, police tell us they do not expect any criminal charges to be filed in this case. We're live in the Lower East Side. Dick Brennan, CBS 2 News. All right, Dick, thank you.